Hey, what's going on? Your boy Sportland back here. Another podcast solo, wherever you're watching this, YouTube, listening, video, you name it. Anyway, going to talk about wall drills today. Going to talk about real quick, sharp, get straight into it. I recently did a post on Instagram, uh, how to organize your wall drills for seamless acceleration. And it got a load of traction, so I thought I'd bring it into the fold here with you. Um, and if you're a coach or if you're an athlete listening to this, and um, wall drills are really poo-pooed sometimes. They're like, oh, this is just a warm-up. And then you've got, you know, people just don't do them well enough because they don't understand. They don't understand the categories in which wall drills can fit into, and, and especially the way that I fit them in looks at them very, very differently because you actually take the next step to understand what they are. Now, wall drills actually fall under a category of specialized preparatory exercise, developmental exercises, sorry. So what they are is they're not quite general and they're not quite special, um, which what it means is they replicate or mimic some sporting activity such as running, but not at the velocities and the forces. So they're really useful to actually load and develop conditioning within um, for your athletes and for, for, for you. And it's obviously often really missing gap. And there's a huge window of opportunity between preparedness. So trained level and actually the skill of sprinting, which is essentially why I have a job. Um, and so there's a couple of categories that I break them down into. And that feels into the drill stacking system, which I'll talk to you a lot about later that encompasses in my certification but the first one are postural wall drills now postural wall drills are your single leg holds or your double leg holds what they are they allow you to find your body position and start the process of learned association so what we always do is we, is we build from drill one drill two drill three everything complements one another so they're incredibly fixed and very stable hands on the ball feet on the ground and they stay there. You can build tension by pushing and find specific positions that are really, really important. So that's number one, postural wall drills. Number two, segmented or body link wall drills. So what that means is we're training through the use of cues or resistance or, or, or sport action or the movement action. So we're um, working on a specific element of that so then this is why they're specialized developmental exercises so we could be working on hip extension speed we could be working on hip extension power with loading we could be working on um uh leg lift thigh split um trunk uh integrity so all of these things can be uh, developed in the segment so it's when we're emphasizing one element still in a very stable and closed condition feet hands on the wall feet on the ground so number three, you've got specific pattern wall drills. So when we when we look at patterns, we either start from um, flexion to extension or extension into flexion, and then the, the alternating of leg. So what that does is it starts to develop the behavior of sprinting. So remember, we've gone from uh, postural, fixed. We've gone from... Um, segment so a little bit like a small part of it then the next piece is we're actually gone into um patterns so encompassing the specific pattern that we want and we can emphasize this with different modalities of resistance and coaching cues if an athlete struggles to get their leg down or their leg up or split and keep doing those same things then we can work on that number uh, number five like the last piece is the specific skill wall drill so this is where we can use the wall as the end point now you may have seen some of my content that we do kneeling wall projections so we actually stand away from the wall and attack the wall and finish on the wall or we're standing and we're resisted and we're leaning and we're working our initial leg split and scissor action that we need to for our um for our training so those are the ways in which that you categorize your wall drills and how you use them as a seamless transition so if you want to learn more, there's a free acceleration ebook somewhere in any link available that's going to give you all the tools and everything that you need um, to help move you forward. And if you want to learn more about how I operate or what this is, then just let me know. Uh, um, there, there's ways to do that. And I'm sure that you're smart enough to find them. Uh, but again, like, share, comment, enjoy uh, and um, happy getting faster.